essentially as perhaps children go back to school. All of that presents some dilemma for candidates to deal with a popular governor and also a governor who did very well in 2018. Today's guest can speak to those points and also how he intends to cut through, especially as we move uh, closer to the recall here this fall. We are going to bring that guest in right now on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline. Kevin Faulkner, former two-term mayor of San Diego and a candidate for replacing the governor on the recall ballot. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Many of the arguments in favor of the recall of Governor Newsom center around his handling of the pandemic. Now that the state has reopened, has the focus shifted? Well, good afternoon, and thanks for uh, it's good to be back with you, and thanks for having me on. You know, and and I will tell you, I, I think that overcoming COVID nineteen isn't just about reopening; uh, it's about rebuilding and reforming, and that's what my campaign is, you know, focused on. Which is not just getting our state back on track, but you know, talking about the issues that I think matter the most to Californians, which is, you know, uh, of course, the issue of homelessness, which is exploding, you know, throughout our our great state. Uh, the fact that our public schools are still not fully reopened, uh, and they should be. And, of course, uh, the need to get our economy back on track. And, again, reforms in our state government where we've seen an uh, unemployment department that had $30 billion worth of fraud this year alone. So that's what I talk about when I say a governor that's actually going to roll up their sleeves, not just give you rhetoric on some of these biggest issues, but actually get results. Mr. Mayor, you've talked about reopening in California, and and as you mentioned here, the quote-unquote rebuilding and reforming the state as well. Could you talk a little bit about what that means exactly for California and for voters as they look at your candidacy and as the recall looms for the fall? Yeah, No, happy to. And and you know what? I think one of the the biggest issues that that as we get on the other side of of COVID-19 is that our state is too expensive, and, and people are voting with their feet. They're leaving California, and you name the state that, that folks are going to, uh, because it's just unaffordable to live here. And whether it's you know some of the highest gas taxes in the nation, which are going to go up again, the fact that the legislature every single year their solution to every issue is they want people to send more money to Sacramento. And look, I, I think we have to absolutely turn that around. If we want our kids to be able to live here, if we want to actually grow our economy, we have to make it affordable to live in California, which is one of the reasons that I have put out front and center what will be the largest middle class tax cut in California history, because I'm I'm glad that you mentioned earlier our our state has a $75 billion surplus. I think it's incredibly important that Californians actually get to keep more of their hard-earned money so they can afford to stay here, and that's what my administration will be centered on. I want to ask you a question about uh, something that all Republicans in California must face, and that is uh, the former president, Donald Trump, was immensely unpopular here in the Golden State. How do you set yourself apart from the Trump administration? Yeah, look, I, I'm, a, I'm a proud Republican that's won twice in a deep blue city in a deep blue state. Uh, and in fact, the registration in San Diego mirrors that of California as a whole. And I, I'm a big believer in you know, how do you win? You win by addition. And the issues that we're talking about, I believe, are common sense. It's not about partisanship. And I I really think that folks don't care if you have an R or a D next to your name. It's can you roll up your sleeves and actually get results on the things that they care about? And, you know, as I look back as I finished up my term as mayor of San Diego, again, in in a heavily Democrat city, I was proud of the fact that we actually reduced homelessness. I took a very firm Uh, approach and compassionate approach that said we're not going to allow tent encampments on the sidewalk in San Diego. We didn't. Uh, It worked. We had a system of of shelters that worked. And I'm going to take that same approach statewide because I think as we look at what is happening in virtually every city in this great state of ours, homelessness is exploding. Uh, We know how to turn that around. You released your first television ad a few days ago in Spanish, uh, talking about your way forward against Governor Newsom. How important are Latinx voters to your campaign? Extremely important. Um, and in fact, I've, I've always, uh, you know, I believe that it's, it's incredibly important that we you know, speak to folks in a language that they understand on the issues that they care about. Uh, in fact, the first uh, commercial I ran when I was running for mayor 
uh, eight years ago in San Diego was me speaking in Spanish directly to the camera about what I was going to do for Latino small businesses. And as we look particularly at, at, the, at the, you know, the, the impacts of this, of this pandemic, particularly hard on our Latino families and small business owners. And the fact, as I said before, that, you know, our public schools were never fully reopened. Private schools were open, you know, all year in California because those schools reported to parents. But yet our public schools that ultimately report to the governor remained closed. And, and look, this is personal to me. I, I don't say this just as a candidate for governor. I say this as a dad with two kids in public schools who realizes and recognizes that there's absolutely no substitute uh, for, you know, a classroom being open, a good quality teacher in there, uh, and not having kids at home on their computer screens. Well, Mr. Faulkner, we thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Again, our guest on the State of California today, Kevin Faulkner, former mayor of San Diego and candidate for governor. Our thanks also to...